Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate uh, you tuning in each week and being with us and hope that uh, maybe you'll share this with somebody else uh, that would encourage uh, their spiritual life, their spiritual journey. In 1 Samuel, there is a story about a uh, prophet of God whose name is Samuel. And this is before the children of Israel have a king. They're gonna get King Saul, but right now they've got God's man, Samuel. He's the prophet, he's the leader of the nation. And there's a group of people that seem to always be a menace to the children of Israel in those days. And it was a people that they called the Philistines. The Philistines were a mighty army. Samuel had his army together, the army of Israel, but he knew that the Philistine army was going to be incredibly difficult to beat. He prays to God, and then God all of a sudden, through a miraculous uh, event, causes a thundering sound and the Philistines run and uh, the children of Israel's army, the ar army of Israel comes and takes them over and they get the plunder and they're victorious. And it's very interesting what Samuel then does. He, he takes uh, a stone uh, and he calls it an Ebenezer. Uh, that's an interesting word, but really what it means is stone of help. And he says this, he says, he prays to God, he puts this stone down, and he says, God, we put this Ebenezer down, this stone of help, because thus far, thus far, you have helped us. In the old King James Version Bible, it says an interesting word we never use today, but it's a pretty good word. It is, hitherto, you have helped us, Lord. What Samuel is saying is, is that God, your track record is, is right on spot. Your, your track record is so consistent. So far, you have helped us. So those are words that don't just look forward, but they also look backward. Samuel's looking back and he's saying, you know, like a driveway that's lined with trees, if you can picture that. He's looking back over the experience uh, with God and he says, man, in the past, it is just lined with your faithfulness lined with your help, God. You have always helped us. Thus far, that's been your track record. That's been God's modus operandi to be there, to help us, to guide us, to respond when we call upon him. Thus far, you've helped us. But that word also communicates looking to the future. Not only have you done that in the past, but God, we've got a certainty that you're gonna do that in the future. I mean, why now would God, who has done all of these events, all of these experiences over all of these years, why now would anything change in the future? It's important in your life and my life to look back and see all the things that God has done. That's why it's a good thing to journal your prayers or journal the acts of God. What God does, when God answers a prayer, do you forget about it or do you write it down so you can remember, so you can go back and say, God, I wanna, I wanna remind you what you did, how you responded, how you blessed my life and the life of my family by answering this prayer. Thus far, you've done this. And so I know that in the future, you'll do it again. We don't know what all this year will be about, what will unfold as we walk through 2022, but what we do know is that all the years in the past, God has been faithful. Thus far, that's been what he's done. And because that's what he's done in the past, we can look forward to what he's gonna do in the future. Look to him. Put down a stone in your life that says, Lord, this marks the spot where I remember and I experience your goodness and the promise of your word. Trust in him as you go through this year. He will not let you down. May God bless you, and we'll see you next week.